Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm not feeling the best, I'm a little bit under the weather and hence why I filmed a talk through tutorial today. Didn't know what the hell I was gonna film. I literally just picked up makeup and started putting it on my face. I really like how this turned out. It's kind of softer. It's how I prefer to wear my makeup nowadays instead of too intense. And I use brown mascara instead of black mascara. So it's just nice and soft, but it's still glam and it's still full coverage. So I don't know what I'm gonna name this. I think it'd be really nice for like summer weddings and summer events. Sorry if my chair is annoying. And sorry if my voice is annoying, I just feel so blah today. But anyway, hopefully by the time I actually film the voiceover, my voice will be back to normal. But I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. So to start things off, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Self Adjusting Primer. This is absolutely amazing. It makes your skin look like it's photoshopped completely. I highly recommend this. I'd seen Chan XO used it and I realized that I had it myself, start using it and I'm obsessed. For my foundation, I'm going to use the Clinique Beyond Perfecting 2-in-1 foundation and again, this is my absolute favourite foundation. Putting it out there, it's amazing. Highly recommend the first few products that I'm using because if you use them together, you get such a flawless base. This foundation is actually very full coverage, so I applied way too much of it here. When I was using it, this is probably only my third time using it, so I really hadn't figured out how much product I actually needed just yet, but a little bit goes a long way with this, trust me. And I like full coverage, you only need such a small amount of this foundation. I use it with a geofiber brush to blend it in. For my concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I picked this up again, used to love it, hadn't used it in so long, and it's a brilliant concealer. I like to use it in the light warm or light neutral shades, just because I like to kind of cream contour with my concealer and I like it to be a little bit lighter than my foundation. Then I'm taking a damp beauty blender and just blending all of that concealer into my skin. This is such a good step because it kind of soaks up any excess product, so I needed that front of the foundation that I applied earlier. <laughs> So as always, to set the area that I applied my concealer, I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural Powder in the shade Light. I love this because it has a tiny bit of coverage and obviously it sets the cream products really well. And because the powder has a bit of coverage in it, it's really good for keeping the areas light. So for example, underneath my eyes, if I was to go in with the regular face powder, it's gonna darken those areas, but because this is a lighter powder with coverage, it keeps it nice and bright and light underneath there. I apply it on my forehead, down my nose and on my chin as well. Next up I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I actually apply this with a damp beauty blender underneath my eyes. The reason why I applied this under my eyes as well as the MAC one is because I find that this powder stops my under eye from kind of creasing and I like to apply it the side of my nose because it stops any oiliness coming through throughout the day. So I literally just apply this with the damp beauty blender in my t-zone area and let it kind of bake and then I take a large fluffy brush and brush it away and apply some of the powder on the rest of my face to set my foundation. So the reason why I use the brush for my face is because you get a lighter application and the beauty blender will kind of help it bake in the areas that you want it to. I hope that's kind of clear. But anyway, for my bronzer, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Powder Foundation and apply this to the perimeters of my face and on my cheekbones and under my jawbone. I used a lot of my favorite or holy grail products in this makeup tutorial and I realized that my skin and my base turned out amazing. I was so happy with it. So yeah, a lot of these products I really recommend, especially this bronzer. It's actually a powder foundation, which is probably why I love it because it's extra coverage and it's kind of orange and I love that. For my blush, I'm using this one from Sleek. I can't remember the name, but it will be listed in the description box down below. I really like this color because it's nice and subtle. It's not too intense and I have a feeling it would suit a lot of skin tones as well. 
So next up is highlighter. I'm using the new one from MAC. This is called Beaming Blush and it is hands down by far my absolute favorite highlighter ever. The color is absolutely insane. If you spritz your brush before applying it, it's so intense. I cannot just go in and swatch this color. I'm saying this about every product, but like I said, I'm using all my favorite, but this highlighter is so amazing. You need to see the color, fab. Anyway, I'm gonna clean up my contour by using the powder that's left over on my beauty blender and just cleaning up the line from my ear to the corner of my mouth and that sharpens the contour there. I just like how this looks, but it's an unnecessary step. So before I put any product through my eyebrows, I always brush through them. <laughs> what? I always brush through them first with my Anastasia number 12 eyebrow brush. And for my products, I use the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the shade Soft Brown. I use the lighter shade with my Inglot 13 P brush for the beginning of my brows. And then I use the Anastasia number 12 brush with a darker shade and fill in the rest of my brows. So to give my eyebrows more definition, I'm using the Anastasia Brow Definer in Soft Brown. I usually use the Brow Wiz. I prefer the Brow Wiz, but this is also a really good product. I just don't have the Brow Wiz in this shade. So I use that just in any kind of extra gaps and to make them a bit more intense. And then to set my brows, I'm using the NYX Brow Gel. And this is actually a really good drugstore brow gel. So finally moving on to the eyeshadow, I'm using this palette from MAC, it's called the Burgundy Palette and I'm taking the bottom left shade, which is that kind of pinky mauve shade, and applying that into my crease, building it up bit by bit and I just really love how this eye makeup turned out. It's nice and different, it's not warm tone, it's cool tone and really easy to wear. But anyway, back to the eyes, building it up bit by bit and also concentrating it in the outer corner and inner corners. Then I'm actually taking a different brush that's a little bit more condensed and applying it all over the lid. So it's still the same color, I'm just using a different brush and applying the same color underneath my eyes, so really simple. For the inner corners of my eye, I'm using the shimmery shade from the top left corner of the palette and obviously just applying that to my kind of tear duct area. Then I'm using the sleek liner, which is a nice brown eyeliner. I just thought that brown would suit this eye makeup look a little bit better than black. And I'm using this on the upper waterline of my eye, obviously. And then going in with a brown mascara. This is the Roller Lash, one of my favorite mascaras. And obviously applying that onto my lashes. Lastly, moving on to lips, I'm using the MAC Lip Liner in the shade Oak and I'm using a Penny's slash Primark lipstick and I think this is in the shade Manhattan. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll leave it listed down below anyway for you guys. And I love the combination of these two. Such a nice color and I just thought it went really well with the eye makeup. And yeah, that's for my lips. I love a matte lip, you can apply gloss if you like. I just, I'm not a gloss kind of girl, you know? So I was actually really happy with how the makeup turned out. I love how it's a little bit softer and I just really like the colors together. Here's a closer look so you guys can see more detail. But yeah, I love it. So like I said, this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I know I've been a little bit MIA recently on YouTube and I swear I'm gonna get back into it full on. I just literally, I've been looking at cameras. Mine is just not up to scratch. I'm so fed up with my setup and my camera and everything and I know that's not an excuse. I have a few different clothing hauls coming up and I'm actually going to Monaco tomorrow with the Lancome and I'm so excited for it and I'm going to vlog the trip and I'm going to upload the vlog because I always vlog my trips and I never upload them so I'm going to make myself upload it this time. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and there's a few more videos coming. I swear I'm gonna get two up this week. But anyway, that's all from me today and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.